I believe that most of what we go through or most of what a lot of people go through in life are actually sponsored by spirits. Even if it is a sickness, I believe that there are spirits of affliction. I believe that there are spirits of infirmities. I believe that there are spirits of poverty and lack. The Bible would describe them as locusts. Every kind of bad situation that human beings go through, I believe that behind those ugly situations are spirits. Satan's interest is to keep as many as possible bound. Is to keep as many as possible under captivity. And so the system of bondage and yoke is the way he can capture people. You know, God is the only God that can reveal himself individually to you and then still reveal himself to another person differently. When you see affliction, when you see addiction, negative habits, anything that keeps a man bound, there are spirits responsible. And we came tonight because God wants to challenge those spirits. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Regardless of how long that captivity is, whether it is the captivity of spiritual husbands and spiritual wives, as I'm talking now, the power of God is already moving here. Right now. Can I tell you the truth? There is only one formula. One formula that can bring an end to any form of captivity. That formula is in the blood of Jesus. When Jesus died and shed his blood, listen to me as I'm speaking now. When Jesus shed his blood on the cross of Calvary, that blood did not only pay for your sin, that blood also paid for your deliverance. The blood is God's last card. Every time you introduce the blood, I don't care the covenant that that spirit has been existing on. I don't care the stronghold, the limitation of your father's house. I don't care the legitimacy of those spirits in your life. Every time you introduce the blood of Jesus, the devil knows that it is time to go. There will be deliverances today. There will be deliverances today. There are age-long captivities that must fall today. There are oppressions in dreams that must go today. There are weights on people that must be lifted today. There are chains that must break off the hands of people. There are chains that must break off the hands of people. There are chains that must break off the hands of people. Bring these two people for me. I just saw something like fire descend on the hands of two people. And something like chains breaking off now. Whether inside or outside, bring them. The power of God will rest on them. I just saw chains. I saw fire come on those chains. Broken right now. That siege of poverty. That siege of lack. Is coming down under the power of God right now. Bring them for me. Bring them for me. I see I see those chains breaking. And I'm prophesying on, on that. That in the name of Jesus Christ. Every chain of darkness. Every chain of hell. That has held bound the men and women of your family. In the name of Jesus. Those chains are broken now. Those chains are broken now. Those chains are broken now. You are glorious, so glorious. You are glorious, so glorious. Now I'm seeing Mahakrate Kobo Sokrata. I'm so happy that God wants to start with deliverance today. There are four people I'm seeing. The fire of God will come on them. I want you to hold them. Listen. This is witchcraft that I'm seeing. I'm seeing witchcraft and I'm seeing a shrine. Families that have been under the captivity of those powers. There are four of you. The fire of deliverance is coming. At the count of four. Bring those four people for me now. He says, strangers shall hear my voice and obey. They shall come forth.
fighting from their hideouts. At the count of four, the fire of deliverance descends. One, two, three, four. Touch. Bring those four people for me. Let the powers of witchcraft be arrested. Let the powers of the shrine, the altars of shrine, be arrested now. I release the fire of the Lord. I declare that this is the day of deliverance. This is the day of liberty. Let go of that family now. Let go of that family now. Let go of them now. Bring them for me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known within the glory of the Spirit of the Sovereign God, come and make your presence known within the glory of the Tonight is a night of deliverance. Hear me. I came with spiritual diagnosis from the Lord. That stubborn problem that you find in your family is sponsored by a spirit. It must go. I'm seeing in the spirit right now and God will confirm what I'm seeing because his power will come upon two people wait I'm seeing something like a rod like a staff in the spirit realm and I see the angel of the Lord take this staff and break it into two this staff represents demonic priesthood in somebody's family As the angel of the Lord is breaking that staff, I'm seeing a strong man in your family that will go down. Strong man, I'm talking about a demonic individual. And in 10 seconds, the power of God will come on those two people to confirm what I'm saying. Father, let this be the season and the day of their deliverance. By the power of the highest, let every strong man in your family go down now. Let every rod of witchcraft, every rod of the powers of darkness that has stubbornly held sway be broken right now. And let deliverance come to that family. Father, confirmed by your power, touch those two people right now. No sound, just wait. The two people, the power of God will hit them now. I saw the angel of the Lord snap those rods into two. Every strong man in your house will go down. Amen. Now, Father, let those two people that I saw, whose families this deliverance is meant for, let your power so descend on them that they cannot hold it. Just be seated now. You will see the power of God will touch them. One of them is on this row. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. And every altar of hell. We are going to pray this night. Oh, enough is enough for the devil. Bring those two people. Bring them. That that rod, that staff, that rod of the Assyrian is breaking. And a day of deliverance has come. A day for release, for liberty has come. You are the name above every other name. What can't you say? What can't you say? Jesus, you are able, you are able. You are able, Jesus. Say you are able. Pray the mighty 
I want you to lift your voice. Psalm 68 verse 1. It says, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. I want you to pray and say, oh God arise. In my life, in my family, Shut up, in my career, oh, in oh, my oh, finances, oh, arise. Let your enemies Two more prayers. We are still praying. The power of God is here. Inside and outside. The power of God is mighty. Isaiah 10 27. It says, It shall come to pass in that day that the, that the burden of the Assyrian shall be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed. You are going to challenge every yoke, every limitation over your life, over your family, for some of you over your career, for some of you over your marital status. There's been a yoke. Today, let that yoke be destroyed by the anointing. Hey. Now lift your voice in the name of Jesus. Begin to confront those yokes. Confront those limitations. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Last prayer, Micah chapter 5, verse 12. I tell you, you are leaving this place free. I tell you, I'm telling you. Some of you will literally see visions tonight about the deliverance that has come. Give us in King James translation, Micah 5, verse 12. It says, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of your hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. This last prayer is against witchcraft. I want you to demand that the fire of God be released. Anyone that is involved with witchcraft and is the reason for the oppression in your family, let the fire of God bring judgment upon them. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Say at all. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Open your mouth I will 
Chains will be broken tonight. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Right now, I cut them off. I cut them off. I cut, I cut, I cut, I cut, I cut them off. I cut them off. Sakabra de Lekabarina. Rekepotoskoto Yabakata. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah oh yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Lift your hands, I'm still praying. This is the night of deliverance, so allow me to just go the way the Spirit of God is leading me. Right now, God is asking me to command chains to be broken. Anyone that is under any form of captivity, every chain around your life, around your health, around your finance, around your marital settlement, every chain around your career, chains of darkness in the name of jesus let those chains fall off now let those chains fall off now let those chains fall off now in the name of jesus christ i set fire on those chains now i set fire on them I set fire on them, fire, the fire that comes from the throne room, the fire that destroys, the fire that breaks weapons, that breaks iron, the fire that consumes, I set fire on those chains, fire, 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 inside and outside, I set fire on those chains. to pray one prayer just give me strings now now this prayer lift your hands please lift your hands when I make this prayer the angels of God will begin to move there are people listen there are people with satanic marks on their lives on their bodies some of them literally on their bodies you woke up from a dream one day and you saw a mark on your body or you woke up one day and saw mark on your body for some of you it's not on your body but it's on your life it's a mark of reproach it's a mark of shame it's a mark that makes you go in circles for some of you that mark is on your forehead please lift your hands i want to pray now father i stretch forth my hand inside outside all across this environment and online anyone with any satanic mark on their lives witchcraft marks on their bodies mysterious marks that has brought your life under oppression that has brought your life under affliction let the fire of god consume those marks now hear me don't shout amen just lift your hands just the strings 
God is showing me that as I'm praying, there are people that the, the fire of God will descend on them. Some of them will literally scratch their body. You will have to help them. Some of them will almost be tearing their clothes. Just please help them and bring them. All right? That mark will be destroyed. Lift your hands. Eyes closed, please. I stretch my right hand. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I delete those marks from your bodies. Yes, that's it. I delete those marks by fire. Don't say amen, just allow me. I delete those marks by fire. By fire. By fire. Those marks on your bodies, on your forehead. Marks of reproach, marks of afflictions. Marks that have covenanted you with demon spirits, with unclean spirits, with marine spirits. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. Bring them for me. Bring them. Outside, I set those marks on fire. I release the fire of God right now. Let those marks be deleted now. Bring them for me. Put down your hands. There's a woman outside. Please bring her for me. There's a deliverance that God is doing on you and on your family. I see the angel of the Lord descend outside. The fire of God is resting on a woman outside. Bring her for me. There's a strong deliverance God is bringing in your family. And God will begin to judge evil from this night. There are two more people I'm seeing outside. Bring them for me. That fire, that fire is burning tonight. The strongholds of darkness will fall like a pack of cards. There are two more people outside. Bring them for me. I'm seeing them in the spirit. I release that fire now. I release, bring, yes, bring them for me. Please lift your hands one more time. I want to pray against delay. Every stubborn spirit that is responsible for delay. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. They will go this night. Delay in marriage. Delay in your career. Delay in your business. Delay of any form. They can't hide. Those spirits will go. I challenge those spirits in the name of Jesus. And as you shout that name of Jesus, let those spirits lose your life and your family. And go now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the spirit of delay depart. Go, go, go. Help them. Go, go. I rebuke the spirits of delay, marital delay, financial delay, delay in settlement, academic delay. I rebuke the spirits now. I command you go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. Spirits of delay, go, 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 go. I see them going. Go, 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 go. I want you to shout that name, Jesus, again. I still see deliverance going on in the spirit realm. At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. Demons are leaving families right now. Delay, the siege of delay is being broken now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let them go, let them go, let them go, help them, help them, yeah, that's it. Let them go now, let them go, your reign is over, your time is You deserve the glory and the honor. <laughs> Bring them for me. We lift our voice in worship. 
we bless the name the glory and the honor Shh, just lift your hands just lift your hands Shh. can I go outside I want to go outside I want to rebuke there's a spirit of lack and poverty there are people outside that God wants to bring deliverance to them those of you outside please lift your hands ready to receive listen if the deliverance tonight is complete many of the challenges around our life will naturally leave I'm telling you there are spirits responsible please lift your hands those of you outside I'm coming to you Wait. From this place, where I am, from this place, huh? All of you here, lift your hands. From here. And there's somebody that the hand of God will pick to this place. Alright, here. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands, close your eyes. This place from here down to this place. I'm seeing chains. I'm seeing a spirit like a snake. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands. Now, Father, I stretch my hands. Let your angels move across this particular area. Anyone that is under the siege of darkness, I declare be delivered now. Lift your hands. Be delivered now. Let the fire of God sweep every chain, every reproach, every obstacle of hell. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I cut off those chains. I crush that serpent right now. La habrando protocomo si kabaradia manana habasi kaba. I want to go outside but God is asking me to pray right now anyone that is under the spell or the covenant of marine spirits this is your time they come in your dreams they are responsible for stagnation in your life they are responsible for you going in cycles they will come and sleep with you or they will come and misbehave with you help them the power of God is going to hit them right now any covenant you have with marine spirits not only in this place around the hall anyone that is in league with marine spirits i crush that covenant aha help them that's the power of god i cut off that covenant now by the blood of jesus and i command those wicked spirits your time is up lift them lift them lift them lift them you are going to hear the shout of a lady now lift them lift them lift them that covenant is broken by the superior covenant of the blood of jesus by the superior covenant of the blood of jesus i crush that covenant i command those marine spirits go 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 i'm coming to those house right now there's somebody the deliverance you will hear there's a lady that will shout now i'm seeing snakes get her to the front there's a lady the, the angel of god is visiting us here there's a lady that will shout in the hall here now you hear a loud shout it's a very very massive deliverance i'm seeing snakes and i see god crushing the head of that snake there's going to be a shout now in the next few seconds there's a lady here god is bringing deliverance to you those of you outside lift your hands father i come in the name and the power of jesus christ everything that looks like a chain outside i'm praying for you right now you came here to receive in the name of jesus let me start this way every yoke of poverty every devil of poverty of lack in your family help them every devil i command that devil to leave right now I command that yoke to be broken now. I will count to three. I want you to shout Jesus. Those chains will break. 
those yokes will be destroyed right now i see the spirit of poverty leaving a family and the count of three those of you out shall shout jesus at the top of your voice that devil must let you go by the power of the holy ghost one two three shout jesus yes that's it i command those spirits to uh, help them to help them i command that spirit to go i command those yokes to break 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 can i walk around can i walk around let those yokes be broken in the name of jesus the angels of god are walking with me right now every yoke of darkness everything that has held captive your family i command it to break now this is your deliverance help them help them this is your deliverance let the chains of darkness be broken let the chains of hell be broken in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i cause marine spirits those devils in your dream i cause them right now be broken now be broken now break your hold of their lives and i command you let them go in the name of jesus All of you on this first two rows, lift your hands. Just these two, these two seats, one, two, on the three rows. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. This one is not deliverance, it's an anointing that God is bringing on somebody. From here like this, straight there to the front. All of you lift your hands. I see, I see an anointing coming on someone. This one is not deliverance. It's an impartation of grace. Wherever you are, I stretch my hands. Let that grace come on you. Let it come on you. Let it come on you. Let it come on you. It's a new season. Let your authority be increased in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Anointing in this sanctuary, there is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come, let there's somebody outside with a prophetic anointing. Wherever you are, the hand of God will find you now. You have there's a prophetic grace on you. God is increasing the measure of oil on your life. Help, ah, <laughs> help them everywhere, outside, everywhere. Touch, 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 touch. A new anointing comes on you. There is a sin. God is doing something outside, I tell you. of our body come out of our body come out at the count of three I break your covenant over our life let her go and never return one two three let her be free Thank God for the anointing. Somebody say, thank God for the anointing. Can we pray for the sick now? 
If you are sick, now let me pray for these ones outside. In the name of Jesus, I present the receipt for their deliverance, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Every covenant with the powers of darkness, let it be broken now. And I set them free. I set them free. Let the chains be broken. Take your hands off their life. Let them be free. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen.